Good evening, Raynam. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I think I am fine. <laughs> Great, excellent. Good to know. So how was your Monday? Hey, can you repeat, please? Sure. How was your Monday? Um, I think very good. <laughs> very good. Excellent. Yeah. So we're just waiting for the class, your classmates, trying. Maybe they don't make the same mistake and they, they didn't go to a different class. So let's see. Daniel, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Very fine. Thanks. Great. Excellent. So how was your day? Uh, my day was, was okay. It's okay. It was nice. Yes. Great. Great. Nice. Nice. Thank you for being here on time. Yes. Hello, Evelyn. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. It had, how was your day? Good. Thanks. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Miguel Angel, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? It's okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you for joining the class. Oh, what a surprise. Good evening, Jill. Yes, good evening. I'm happy to see you from the beginning of the class, Jill. So let's see. Well, we have Daniel, Evelyn, Jill, Miguel, and Reina. Okay, let's see. Well, we, everybody, we are going to start right now with the class. And in the meantime, we're going to have everybody else joining the class. So let's see here. Please let me know whenever you can see the screen, okay? I can see also Mr. Pardo, good evening. Edwin, good evening. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Teacher, uh, I'm driving to my home. I okay. when I arrive at uh, my house. No problem. Thank you for letting me know, all right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so, well, everybody, let's just uh, start the class here officially, right? So, good evening and welcome to one more class, right, of the intermediate level. So, this is our second week, right, and I'm so glad to share with you um, new activities, right, new vocabulary, and new things, like, for you to learn tonight, all right? So, well, let's just start right now with the first one right here, which is going to be this one, a review, a review, a review, all right? So... As you can see on the screen, we are going to match, match um, the numbers with the letters. So we need to like, you know, to draw lines, etc. right? So that's what we need to do right here. But I need your help to tell me, um, you know, which number goes with the correct letter here. All right. So and we're going to be uh, working on that. So let's see. Let's work together on remembering how to pronounce the words that you can see there on the numbers, all right? So the first one, everybody please repeat it. Appetizer, repeat it, appetizer. 
Appetite, sir. Appetite. Very much. All right. So, how do you say the next one, the number two? Remember that there is a similar word. All right. Um, that sound looks the same and sound close, but it's different, right? So, how do you pronounce the second one? Dessert. Dessert. Uh, Thank you, Jill. All right. Dessert. All right. So, number three, tip. Repeat, everybody. Tip. Tip. Thank tip. you. Number four, waiter. Repeat it. Waiter. Waiter. Thank you. And the last one, side dish. Repeat, everybody. Side dish. Side dish. Side dish. Thank you very much. Now, I need a volunteer right now who can help me with the number one, appetizer. Tell me what's the correct letter there so we can match it. Mm -hmm. Who's my volunteer? What is appetizer? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who is it? Hello, hello. Remember, this is the word, and one of those it's the definition. So you need to tell me which is the correct one. Aham, who's going to help me with number one? Appetizer. Tell me. Letter hello, hello. C. What is it, Stelly? Letter C. Letter C. Can you please read it? Okay. A dish that eating before the main course. The main course, exactly. So you go on this one right here, and that's the first one. Thank you very much. That is correct. All right, so you got it. Thank you. Thank you, Stalin. All right, so what about number two? Number two, that is? Dessert. Dessert, all right? Dessert. Exactly. Thank you. All Me. right, so who? Letter D. Letter D. Good evening, Nuria. Can you please read the definition? Sweet food. Eating at the end of a meal. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. You did it wonderfully here. All right. So, thank you. What about number three? Tip. Tip. What is a tip? Mm -hmm. It's easy. It's easy. Letter B. Letter B. Can you read it? Extra money given by a, a guest to a waiter or other staff. Exactly, that is correct, all right? Thank you, Sleep. All right, what about number four, waiter? Hi, everybody else. Today's only girl's power and the boys, what happens? Come on, let's see, let's see. Letter A. Letter A, waiter, can you read it? Uh, a person who takes order from gets and um, breathes their food. Okay, and excuse me, how do you read this letter? Hey. Uh -uh. Yeah. How do you read it, people? E. 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 Exactly, right? So, yes, you are right on this one. Just remember, this letter is letter E. Exactly, right? Thank you. And the last one, people, who can help me with the last one? Come on. There are no more options. The last one, the last one, please help me. Is the letter A. Okay, can you read it? An extra dish or serving that order together with a main dish. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. So you go on this one right here. And here you have it. All right. So you have there the review. Excellent. So you guys did a wonderful job. That was easy. Yes or no, people? Okay. Excellent. So we have the appetizer. The, what's this one right here? Dessert. Dessert. Very good. The tip, the waiter, and the side dish right here. All right. Let's see if you remember some other vocabulary that I have here, like this one, for example. All right. What is main course, people? Uh huh. What is main course? Plato principal. El plato principal. Exactly. So that's the main course right here. All right. Very good. Excellent. What was meal? Comida. Comida, right? So very good. Excellent. So what is the staff? Personal. Personal. El personal. Very good. Excellent. 
Uh -huh. What else? Uh, let me see. What is, let's see here. Uh, this one. Guest. Uh -huh. Invitado. Los invitados, exactly, right? So thank you very much. So you're doing a very good job, all right, with the vocabulary. Hey, um, before I move to the next activity, you guys have uh, questions about the vocabulary? No? No question, teacher. Okay, great, excellent. Thank you very much, everybody. So right now I'm just moving forward to the next activity here, which is this one. Okay, so tonight we are going to talk about the service sequence, all right? What's the service sequence? You know, what is a sequence? Who can tell me what do you guys understand when you listen to the word um, sequence? This one right here. Una secuencia. Sequence. Una secuencia, huh? okay, excellent. What else? What else does it come to your mind? Mm, paso a paso. Paso a paso, steps to follow, etc. Right? So, yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about tonight about like the steps, the process that uh, normally people follow when uh, you have to, uh, you know, work in a restaurant, for example, and uh, you receive the people who is going to be eating at the restaurant, of course, right? So, uh, everybody, please go ahead and check this with me right here. Repeat it with me. Welcoming guests. Repeat it. Welcoming guests. Welcoming guests. Welcoming guests. Welcoming guests. Welcoming there we go. Excellent. So, what is welcoming guests? All right. So, uh huh. Is when you receive. Exactly. So that's basically saying like good afternoon. You know, good morning, good evening. Right. Thank you for coming to this restaurant. Um, you know, may I have your name or um, like you know, you need a table for two, for three, for how many people you need a table, etc. Right? Then once I have identified myself with the customer, I have introduced myself, I have welcomed the customer. I am going to continue with the step number two, which is this one we have right here. All right, it is guiding and seating the guest or the guests. All right, so repeat everybody, guiding and seating the guest. Repeat it. Guiding and seating guiding the guest. Seating the guest. Thank you very much. All right, so what is just like that one? Who can tell me what is it? Uh huh. Guiar y sentar a los invitados. You know, it's like guiar y sentar, right? So just basically take them and tell them, hi, welcome. This is going to be your table, right? So please follow me, et cetera, right? So, have you ever had the opportunity to um, eat at any fast food restaurant, such as Pizza Hut or Pollo Campero, for example? They follow this one. So, there is one person welcome you at the entrance, and then they take you to your table. And then another person, um, you know, helps you with the food, right? But let's see what's next right here. Number three, everybody says, check comfort and seating arrangement. Repeat it, please. Check the Alright, excellent. So, can someone tell me what is the meaning of the word arrangement? What is it? Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of the word arrangement? Remember, arrangement. Arrangement. Como acuerdo, disposición, el orden, la estructura, la acomodación in this context, all right? So this is how you guys are going to understand, all right? So check if the customers are okay. So uh, with that one and with the table that you have given to the customers, all right? So uh, then you go from this one right here. Take a look. Serving water. Repeat it, my friends. Serving water. Serving water. Serving water, serving water. Right? so which yeah. is basically just right. give water to the customers, right? So meanwhile, the customers think on what is the possible um order or the type of food that they will order, right? So now let me ask you this, people: Do you think that this is a sequence 
that restaurants follow here in our country, here in El Salvador? Hmm? Do you think that restaurants here in El Salvador follow this sequence? Yes or no? No, teacher. No? no they don't give you water? <laughs> so they give you water only if you ask, someone says there, all right? So uh, how do you say solo si tu pides? Uh, only if you ask. All right, oh. only if you ask for it, all right? So si tu pides por eso, all right? Si tu lo pides. All right, thank you. So then, everybody, the next one, menu presentation. Repeat, everybody, menu presentation. Menu, 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 menu. They basically, um, you know, they get the menu and they show you the menu. Now, uh, well, after the pandemic, it's very common that the restaurants give you a menu like, um, you know, with the QR, you know, so you need to scan the menu so you can access to the menu. Say like, here's the menu, you can scan it. Or like, let me ask you this one. As customers, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to scan the menu or do you prefer the, the paper menu so you can see it, like touch it and read it? What do you prefer? In my case, the the paper me menu. Noe, excuse me. I cannot hear you. Can you repeat it one more time? In, in my case, uh, the paper me menu. Okay, so you said you prefer the paper menu, right? So yeah, it's better so you can see it and read it carefully, right? Because imagine if you don't have internet, you won't be able to, to scan it, right? What about the rest? Do you prefer the um, is to scan the menu or to read it physically? In the menu. Physically, all right? Paper <laughs> menu. The paper menu or physically menu, all right? So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, then after the customer reads the menu and decide what the customer wants to eat, so we'll go for this one, which is order taking, all right? With the order taking, so you just need to take the order. That's it, all right? So write down exactly what the customer wants to eat, all right? Then sometimes, waiter can give you a suggestion, all right? So they can recommend certain dishes that the restaurant offers based on what the customer has uh, ordered or whenever the customers are not sure what they wanna order. So the waiter or the waitress can offer something additional. That's what we have here, the suggestive selling, all right? So the suggestive selling. Please repeat it. Suggested selling. Suggested selling. I have a question for everybody here. What do you understand by suggestive selling? Mm -hmm. Selling is uh -huh. there. It's there. Selling. All right. Uh -huh. What selling. else? To hedir algo adicional. Uh -huh. Exactly right. So as I was saying before, to give you a recommendation, right? So, um, for example, when you go to um, any fast food restaurant and you don't know what to order, they give you the promotions, right? So they offer you the promotions and they, they say, you can order this or you can add this or just for $2 more, you can add all these things, they said, all right? And then you ended up buying a lot of food. So let's say this one right here, the next one. Repeat orders. If everybody repeat order, please. Repeat order. Repeat order. Repeat order. Order. Yeah. Let me ask you this one. Do you think it's necessary to repeat the order? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Can you tell me why? Because the waiter need to uh, to make sure that he is uh, taking the. Uh, Write it down, write down the right well the, the order because the correct order. Exactly. Thank order. you very much. Yes. Just to verify, 
just to verify that the order uh, you know was understood correctly right thank you then uh, let's continue with the next one right here it says placing order to system and kitchen repeat it please placing order to system and kitchen go ahead there you go exactly so what's that one it would be just basically what it says right here uh okay i have a question for you now that we are in this one what do you understand by placing 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 uh -huh. not only like placing the order but placing in general mm -hmm. what is it Como ingresar. Uh -huh. Yay, that's it. All right. So that's, you know, basically what it says because it says like a uh, placing orders. All right. So it would just basically it's like ingresar, colocar la orden en el sistema. You know, that's actually what it means. All right. In, in the kitchen, of course. All right. So, and, and you know what? This is a, a, a step or part of the sequence that we can also see in a small restaurants or like pupuserias, for example, right? In pupuserias, you write down on a piece of paper, how many pupusas do you want? And then the pupusera takes the paper and puts it in a row, right? Where they have a, lot, a line of papers and she's preparing the pupusas based on the papers that she has, right? I have seen that in some pupuserias as well. Um, let's see, then everybody here, Quality checking. Repeat it. Quality checking. Quality checking. Quality checking. Exactly. Quality so, checking. right, you need to make sure that everything is perfect for the customer, right? Because remember, uh, the good presentation is important. Then, everybody here, food presentation. Repeat it. Food presentation. Food presentation. Food presentation. Exactly. Let me ask you this. Do you think that the food presentation is important? Yeah. Yes. Do you think that food presentation is important? Yes. Yes. Why? It's very important. But why? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's important? Hello? <laughs> it's important, says David. Yes. Uh -huh. But why? 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 Why is the food is what's the food important? Hello? Because I see the meal delicious. Yep, exactly, right? So because if the food is actually not with a good presentation, it's not attractive, it's so attractive, sorry, for customers. And as Mr. Custodio was saying there, it captures the appetite of customers, of course, right? Imagine that you order um a portion of um lasagna, right? And you you know you expect the lasagna to be like a cube, right? Uh, and then they give you a lasagna that is like spread on the dish. Would you feel comfortable with that? No, right? So, or like, for example, if you go to a bakery and you are order, I don't know, anything like, um, like any kind of pastry, like una miloja, for example, that comes to my mind, you know, like it, how it works, right? And then if they give you that on a, on a bag, so everything is going to be spread on the back. So that's not a good presentation, right? So yes, that's the reason why it's important. And you also need to check satisfaction, all right? So everybody, please go for this one. Check satisfaction, repeat it. Check satisfaction. Check satisfaction. Exactly. So you check the satisfaction and what is it? It's because, um, you know, it's important to see if the customer it's satisfied with the food and the service the customer is receiving, excuse me, or if the customer is complaining, right? So let's go on this one. 
Offer, mm -hmm. how do you pronounce this word? <laughs> hey, come oh. on. We just checked the pronunciation of the word. How is it? Dessert and drinks. Dessert, all right, you sure? Yes. Dessert. dessert, exactly. Thank you. All right. So, dessert, dessert. All right. So, offer dessert and drinks. Exactly. Right. So, after you finish the main uh, dish, right. So, they normally say, like, would you like to have a dessert or any additional drink, like coffee, for example? All right. So, they can uh, suggest those type of food, of course. Right. So, then, um, do you normally have dessert after meal? When you go to the restaurants or not? Do you normally order something else? Something extra? Something additional? It depends. Mm, no. It depends on what, Guillermo? If I eat too much food. Oh, okay. I, I don't uh -huh. order uh, dessert or something not even else coffee? to drink. No. Okay, good, good, good. Interesting, all right? So then we have this one, clearing. And how do you pronounce the next one? Tell me, how do you pronounce it? Is it crumbing? You sure? Crumbing. Mm -hmm. Crumbing. And what is clearing and crumbing? Mm -hmm. What is cleaning, cleaning, uh, or clearing, cleaning. and crumbing? Hey. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> ah, because you went to the um, you went to the translator and it's, it says desmenuzar, <laughs> so you don't know what is it. All right, so uh huh. But what is it? What is just like that one? Uh huh. It's just basically what is. It? I don't know. No idea? No idea. Okay, excellent. And what about clearing? Limpiar. Limpiar, okay. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. No idea? Okay, yes. so don't worry. It's just as simple as you were saying it before. Clean. All right, so clean the table. It's just basically when you like, you know, the customer has finished eating and then you clean the table. All right, so you remove the plates. All right, and then you clean the table so then, then somebody else can actually use it. So clearing and cramming, it's just to clean the table. Is that clear? Great. Excellent. Thank platos, you. Retirar los platos y limpiar la mesa. Yeah, exactly. Basically, yes. It's not like, like the full cleaning, right? So that they are going to remove everything in the front there, but they just remove the dishes and they clean it, right? So the customers can continue there more comfortable in case they, they want to order something else, right? It's just like retirar los platos, limpiar la mesa. All right. Then let's say this one right here. Presenting the bill. Repeat it, my friends. Presenting the bill. Presenting the bill. Okay, now let me ask you this one. Do you think it's correct that the waiter proactively offers the bill or the, the waiter has to wait for the customer to request the bill? Thank you, uh, David. Uh -huh. What do you think it's the correct process? Uh, the customer the customer has to ask for the bill all right yeah. yeah that's actually correct because imagine how would you feel as a customer if the waiter approaches to your table and says nuria do you want the bill right so we'll be like wait relax i'm still eating right so exactly so let's say this one and obviously when the customer is leaving the restaurant, you have to thank the guest. Repeat it, my friends. 
thank the guest. Thank the guest. Exactly. Thank you very, very much from this one. Hey, everybody. Do you have questions about vocabulary we have here? Yes or no? No? Okay, no problem. No. So let's just continue with the next um, activity here. All right, so let's see. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to start a conversation right here so we can actually answer the two questions that you can see here on the screen and also another activity that I am about to show you right now. So let's see if this one, it says, are procedures in a restaurant important? Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by the procedures? It is a personal opinion, right? So remember that procedures or the process, or as you could see it before, um, the sequence, all right? So uh, do you think that they are important on a restaurant? Yes or no? You can say, yes, I consider they are important because uh, we guarantee a good service to the customers or we can guarantee that all the customers are going to receive exactly the same service, right? Just to give an example. And the second question, is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by the procedures? Yes or no, people? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, of course, right? Because if the process is not the correct one, the customer will not be satisfied. The customer will be angry and they will not want to continue going to the same restaurant, all right? So let's see. Now, let's just continue with this one. Those are two questions that you're going to be practicing in the breakout rooms, but also you have this activity that you're going to practice at the same time in the breakout rooms. It says right here, hey, I need a volunteer right now who can help me to read the instruction. Who's my volunteer? Come on. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer for the instruction. The instruction. Number, the steps are where uh -huh. follow the taken service and order. Thank you. What it says right here, a number, it's just like say one, two, three, four, five. So you need to organize and tell me what is number one, what is number two, what is number three, et cetera, right? Taking as example, the sequence we just studied, right? And that's what you guys are going to be working on, all right? So what are the activities you're going to be working on? The first one, let's okay. start. And the, the two questions, of course, and to organize these steps right here. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Perfect. So let me organize right now the breakout room so everybody can join this all right so it's gonna be like six okay so let's see here okay one second here so let's see Okay, the invitation has been sent. So please join the rooms. Join the rooms, join the rooms, join the rooms. Come on, let's do it. Join the rooms, please. Okay, Nuria, please join the room number seven. Thank you. Uh, Edwin, are you going to be participating or are you only a listener tonight? All right, Edwin, so let me know whenever you can join. 
the breakout room. Thank you. So let's see here. Thank you. So let's see. I know I said hello. Teacher, la, la, tú nos regala qué es lo que tenemos que hacer el primero, Porti. Sure, you want the, the, the screenshots? Sí. Yes. Okay, no problem. It is also on your book, ladies. You can see it there as well. Mm -hmm. I guess it's page number 17. Unit 2, it says. Yeah. Okay, one second. I'm sending this this one here right now in the chat. Here you have the first one. Okay. Do you see the first one? Yes. It's in the chat here in, in uh, uh, Zoom. Yeah. Hello. Awesome. I'll share the, this as well in the WhatsApp group so everybody can see it as well. Okay, then it's time for you to talk. Can you see that the images? Let's start practicing, please. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Job, I think. Yo pienso que sí son importantes los procedimientos. Porque para tener un, un servicio de calidad se necesita tener un orden. Un no, orden in de... I think uh, very important because uh, best customer service. Okay, a best customer service or a better customer service? Uh, better. <laughs> exactly, comparison, exactly, exactly. Okay, customer service. Okay, I will let you continue practicing and I will move to a different room right now, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. And the procedure. Hello, hello, Ellen. Uh, <laughs> all right.
Okay. Uh, where are the customer? The number one. Uh, uh, two, see the customer. Uh, three, take, take customer order. Four, confirm the order. Uh, five hundred the food correctly. Uh, six serve the food. Okay, no, este, ¿quién lo va a presentar? Ahí, ahí como se ahí creo que el teacher va a preguntar. So do you have questions? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So I will move to a different room. If you have questions, just call me, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. So you finished here, people? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Excellent, excellent. All right, so, and then? Uh, let's see this one. Very good. Let's check in here. Okay. Very good. I was just reading this one here. Good. Okay. So thank you. Three, four, two, six, one, five. Okay, for the quality of food in the ser uh check how do you spell service there, my friend? In the answer. Hi. Uh how do you spell how do you spell service in the answer for the number one question? Number one. Service. 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 Correct. Service. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. That's correct in the second one. Uh -huh. Ah, see. Okay, thanks. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. All, All right. right. Be excelente. Excelente. Oh, my God. La hace falta yo nacer. All right. So. Se falta ahí. Right. There you go. Excellent. Okay, guys, I will go to a different uh, room to see how the guys are doing. And if you have questions, just let me know. All right. Thank you.
Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. So let's see. You can see. Oh, what a surprise, Mr. Giovanni Rivas. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, so let's see. We are just waiting for the other guys. Okay, here they come. Okay. Great, excellent. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for returning to the main session. So now we are going to continue um, you now solving the questions and the exercises that we have before here, all right? So let's hit this one. This one, oops, that's the first one right here. Okay, excellent. So we are going to go with the question number one right now. So question number one, which is going to be uh, this one right here this one question number one this one right here okay so volunteer for question number one people come on volunteers practice participate who 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 evelyn. hey evelyn tell me are procedures in a restaurant important yes no why yes the procedures are important for Guaranteeing the experience the, to the customers right. and come back another time. Come back, return, return the next time. Okay. Return thank you very time. much. All right. Hey, thank you, Evelyn. That was actually a good answer, right? So you were sharing a valid point, all right? Thank you. Can somebody else share the answer for the same question? The same question, the number one. Another volunteer? Hello, hello. Teacher, in my opinion, they are important for the order of the place. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So to keep the order at the restaurant, right? So that's a valid one as well. Thank you, Carlos. You were doing a very good job with that answer as well, right? So what about one more? One more with the same question. One more, please. Uh, I, I think a very important because uh, better customer service to offer a better customer service that is actually right as well thank you nuria i like the answer as well okay excellent so now let's just continue here and let's go with the next question which is going to be question number two which is oops this one right here all right so let's see this one Okay, excellent. So question number two. Volunteer for question number two? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello? The uh, surprise has to be excellent in a restaurant because it was you have two customers. Yes, exactly, right? So we need to keep our customers, to make the customers return the next time to continue with uh, eating our products in a restaurant, right? So thank you very much on this one. Good job, my friend. What about the next volunteer? Next volunteer for the same question? Who is it? Hmm? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, right, come on. All right, Daniel. Daniel, you were the last one, right? You were the one participating before. Yes. Hi. Okay. Can you please choose the next person? Pick the next one, please. Oh, a person. Yes. Love it. Um, Eduardo Flores. Mr. Flores. Hello, teacher. All right. Can you tell me? Is a customer a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedures? Yes or no? Yes. Why? Because the customer is very important, the procedures in the restaurant. 
All right. So yes, the customer is important for the procedures at the restaurant. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right. So let's just continue with the next one right here. And the last volunteer, Mr. Flores, tell me who's going to be the last volunteer. Hello, hello. No, es Gustavo. Esteli. Okay, Esteli. Thank you, Eduardo. Esteli volunteered. All right. So go ahead and tell me. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by the procedures? Yes, of course. Uh, it is very important because if you don't follow the steps, you can bring to your customer a good or a bad experience about the service or uh, about the full quality. And the customers will give bad or good reviews about the restaurant, about the food, and then uh, the customers uh, make a decision if uh, they, they visit the place again. Exactly, right? So, and you mentioned something very important, Esteli, uh, reviews. Reviews, reviews, all right? So uh, whenever the customers uh, have a nice experience, they give you a nice review, they recommend the restaurant, they recommend the food, etc. right? But whenever they didn't receive a, a good service, they complain about that and they give you a bad review and that affects the customer's reputation, all right? Thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Esteli. That was an amazing job. So let's just continue right now here with the next activity, which where I am going to need more volunteers, of course. All right, so let's see this one right here. The number two, the number two, the number two. So tell me, so what's the number, what's the correct numbers order here? What's number one, people? Can you tell me what is number one? Greet the customer. Number one is to greet the customer. Very good. Let's see this one right here. Greet the customer. Thank you. What about number two? Hmm? Sit the, the customer. customer. Excuse me, Jill? Sit the customer. Sit the customer. Is that correct, people? Yes. Yes, yeah, teacher. Yeah, sit the customer. Thank you. All right. What about the next one? What's the correct one? What's the correct one here? Take customer order. Take customer's order. Very good. It's going to be like this one. Thank you. All right. What about number four? Number four, number four. Confirm the order. Confirm the order. Very good. So it's going to be like number four right here. Thank you. And number five. It's handled the food correctly. Handled the food correctly. All right. So is that correct, people? Yes. Yes. Yay. And obviously the last one is serve the food. Serve the food. Serve the food, serve the food. Excellent. That was a piece of cake, right? So super easy. All right. So, well, excellent. So in the meantime, right now, I'm going to uh, continue here and I will check the attendance. So please, everybody pay attention and say present, okay? So let's see. Uh, Mr. Andre Pardo Camacho. Are you around here? He was, but it's not anymore. All right. So, Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present, sir. Thank you. David Emanuel Custodio. Thank you, David. All right. So, Edwin Esaú Galdames. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Jamilet Molina. Present. Thank you. Uh, Gio Present. Thank you. 
Guillermo, Aduer, eh, Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present. Thank you. Henry Giovanni Rivas. Present. Thank you. Eh, Juan Eduardo Flores. Present. Thank you. Catherine Reyes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mar Maria Jesus Martinez. Do you know anything about that there, Maria? No. Okay. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Miguel Angel Santos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present, teacher. Thank you. All right. Nuria Mercedes Avilés. Present. Thank you. Eh, Reina Elizabeth García. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sonia Esmeralda Mauricio. Present, teacher. Hello, Sonia. All right. So, eh, Esteli Gómez. Present, teacher. And Mr. Luna. Present teacher. Thank you very much. All right. So then I, I, I want to take this part of the class to remind you people, do your homework and do the uh, the unit activities, right? In the platform. No dejen que se las acumule, por favor, las tareas y las cosas que hay que hacer de la por unidad, right? Y también recordarles, like you have to uh, join the class for 120 minutes, no partially, and you have to join the class every day as well, all right? So please, 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 please. Thank you. Okay, everybody, let's just return here to the main station so we can see what's the next step, all right? So ladies and gentlemen, take a look to what we have right here. It's time for you to... Oh, let me erase those numbers, one second. Okay. All right, all right. So we have a section that is called building vocabulary, all right? So can someone help me to read the instruction? My friends, please go ahead, tell me. Read the instruction, read the instruction. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Thank you for being a volunteer, all right? So instruction number three, Sonia, please read it. Okay, use your dictionary and look for the meaning of the word below. Below, okay, Below. excellent. So everybody remember the pronunciation of this word right here is meaning. Please repeat it, meaning. 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 Thank you meaning. very much. All right, so, okay. So here we have five words. You guys are going to investigate the meaning of the words, but no Spanish. Mm -mm, no Spanish. You are going to look for a definition in English, okay? Awesome. So how are we going to do that? We are going to do that uh, using the breakup rooms so you can work uh, in groups and then you can actually return here. All right. So in uh, complete the, um, the, the activity, right, with the definitions here. Do you have questions about the activity that we are about to do right now? No. All right. Everybody. Time to join the groups. Please go ahead. Mr. Custodio, Edwin, Henry, please join the rooms if it is possible for you. Thank you. Teacher, no me apareció la invitación. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, me, teacher. Don't worry. Right now, I will fix this one. Try now, please. Let me know if it works. you
ठीक है Questions about the activity? Or are you working on the activity? Uh -huh. No, teacher. Okay, great, excellent. If you have questions about it, so please let me know. I can return to this room, okay? Okay. Great, teacher. Thank you. Beautiful Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ma. Y no me muevo, no me ve. <laughs> yes, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Mango. Mango. Yeah, it's um when you talk about like like for example the 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 cups, you know, the coffee cup. You got mm -hmm. it by the handle, by the handle. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the or the frying pans as well. So you you can use that word in different um in different things. In different contexts, correct. Context, okay. But right now we are trying to use it in the context related to what we're studying, right? Okay. Remember, it's a definition in English, right? Okay, yes. take care. You can use those dictionaries to get a definition. Yeah. Let me see a part of an object designed for holding, moving, or carrying the object easily. This is the significado. Mm -hmm. Pero aquí habla, aquí habla de que es, okay, so es algo como to para deal, tomar. To deal with or some responsibility uh -huh. como tomar responsabilidad para o de y como tomar un cargo de porque hand es como tomar handling Por ejemplo, el hashtag es el que lleva la viñeta cuando compras algo nuevo. Ese hashtag dice que es la información de lo que estás tomando. Por uh, ejemplo, this one, to handle the food correctly, teacher. Excuse me? We can use handle and um, like because we are um, using this word in the context mm -hmm. of the servings, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, uh, like the procedures in the restaurant. Correct. So we can use handle like handle the food correctly. Yeah, but in that one, that would, you're giving me an example. If I ask you what is what is a exactly definition. handle, how can you give me the definition? Okay. Your idea is good because you're giving an example, right? But I need a definition. Okay. A part of an object designed to have all. Mm. 
¿Cuál, ¿Cuál definición le vas a poner? Esa que te... This one, for example. Uh, uh, That's an example. Uh, uh, the definition is the, the one in that one. one. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, responsibility for or being in charge of. Correct. But this is just deal with, all right? Uh, which it means, yeah, that's correct. To deal with, okay, very good. Okay. You're missing a letter R, confirm. The first one, correct. Yeah. My God, it's too slow, this internet. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Sometimes it happens to me too. Oh, Dios tío. Oh, well. <sighs> You wouldn't okay. find any difference in Claro, huh? Mm, confirm. Go to the true. Confirm. This is to make um Really? For me, the essay is uh, to make the uh, ranks okay. or arguments. To make um, arguments and marrying. To make somebody feel stronger? Which one? To, sh to show or say that something is true. To show or say. This one. That could be one of them. Do you have another one? Mm. To make. To make. Um, to prove the truth or. To make an arrangement. arrangement. Yeah, I'll go for this one. Correct. This one. Uh, arrangement or. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. So, guys, I will go to a different room right now. If you need help, call me, all right? Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Payment. 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 Chicas, solo ven... Se oye, se oye, se oye completo. Yo lo hice más tarde. Oh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> In, for, for a moment, teacher, I was left alone. I saw, I saw you, I saw you. I was about to come here, but then I saw that Giovanni joined the group again. Ah, okay, teacher, thank you. Uh, finish the, the words? In, you finish all in, of them? In our opinion, yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, very good. So we are going to like review, um, review the, um, right now you can check the words with your um, classmate. And then I will just go one more round in the breakout rooms. So then you can actually um, go back to the main session. All right? Okay, teacher. All right.
teacher. Oh, hello, hello. I'm sorry. I I'm using two devices and I just moved one of them. So tell me, how can I help you? Uh, we have a question. Uh, we need to use a concept for uh, each word or just a synonym? Um, you know, it works as a synonym, all right? So a definition could be also the best option, right? So, but a synonym also works. It's easier for us. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, yeah. I, I I'm okay with that one as long as it is in English, of course. And what do you think about our answers? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will review number. Let me see. No, actually, all of them are correct. Number four as well. So yeah. I like them. Oh, so really? Good job on this. Yes. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So we are going to go back to the main class right now so everybody can see that. All right. Okay. Thank you. Hello, everybody else. We are just waiting for the rest of the classmates to join the men's section again so we can start with some volunteers. Okay. Okay, let me see. Everybody's back. So thank you very much. All right. So now, uh, everybody, we are going to choose some volunteers to um, read here the definitions that you found on the internet or in the dictionary about the words we were discussing. Can someone share the screen and tell me uh, or show me the definitions you got? Okay, number one. Okay. Handle. 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 Mm -hmm. A part of an object designed for holding, moving, or car carrying the object objects easily. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. So she got like the part of an object. Um, to take or to the part of an object to take, you said? Uh huh. Oh, your microphone. Uh, this is a part uh -huh. of an object designated. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much on this one. So guys, what happens is the following. Um, Remember that a word can have different meanings, right? Depending on the context. So the word handle, the definition that you gave me, it's a different context. It's just like you're talking about like the word more like sujetar, all right? So, or también tenemos el door handle, que sería cuando uno abre la puerta, ese eh, objeto que uno ocupa para 
alar la puerta, right? So that would be like handle. But handle is also a verb. And it means a different, um, or has a different definition. Can someone tell me what is another definition of handle? But thank you, uh, Sonia. That's one of the meanings. That's correct. But not for this context, all right? So let's see. Uh, can somebody tell me a different uh, definition? Hello, hello? Uh, hand, handle, mm -hmm. manipulate, or take charge chair, of. To manipulate or take charge of. Be in charge of, all right? So exactly, it's just like you need to handle the situation. So that would be like the closest, um, let's say, meaning to the context that we are looking for, all right? So in, uh, for example, in this one, it's just, as you can see here, it says in charge. So it's gonna handle the situation. Like, for example, let's see, Imagine that you have an angry customer and you don't know what to do or what to offer. And the supervisor says, don't worry, I am going to handle the situation right now. So which it means the person is going to be in charge, all right? Or the person is going to take control of the situation. Is that clear? It's clear, teacher. Thank you very much. Excellent. So what about um the next one? The next one, the next one, which is going to be what number is it? Number two, confirm. That's easy to understand, but what's the definition? Mm -hmm. um, to show that something is uh, correct or true. Proved. Prove or true? No, Proof. true. True. Yeah. And before true, what do you say? Correct. Correct. Confirmed. Confirm. Confirm. Uh, to show that something is definitely true or correct. Ah, definitely true. Okay, very good. Now I understand. Thank you. Definitely true or approved. That, that's correct. All right. So that's a good definition. Do you have another definition, people? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, thank you, Giovanni. What is it? Make an arrangement or making a certain often by phone or writing. Okay, can you repeat it one more time, please? Because I wasn't able to hear you. Hello? Henry? Can you repeat it one more time? Uh oh I guess no. <laughs> All right. So, well, thank you. Let's just move next one with the next one, which is payment. Can somebody help me with the definition of payment? Payment. Yeah, an amount of money paid. An amount of money paid. All right. Exactly. That's correct. An amount of money paid. All right. Yeah, we don't need another thing to say because... It doesn't mean anything else, all right? So thank you. What about number four? What's number four? Mm -hmm. Reading, reading, what's number four? Uh, we found uh, a polite word for sign of welcome. Exactly. So I like the fact that you said like polite, 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 polite. All right. So very good. Very good. I like the, the, the way that you said polite because it is actually how you need to sound when somebody uh, arrives to the restaurant. Right. So like good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for visiting us, please. And, you know, things like that. So that's a very important word there, polite. All right, thank you, um, Esteli. 
All right, so let's just continue with the next one. The last one, notify, notify, notify. What is notify? What is notify? Uh, inform someone of something, typically in a formal or official manner. An official manner, all right? Exactly, 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 all right? So that's basically to notify someone is just to inform, to inform someone in an official way, all right? So, and yeah, that's actually a, how it works, of course, right? So let's see. Uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? No, right? So you guys gave a really good definition of that one. And something important right here, I was working with one of the groups in the breakout rooms and, um, you know, I was explaining to them that um, sometimes a word can have different meanings, all right? Depending on the context, depending on the things you are saying or doing, right? And uh, that's what happens right here. So then, for example, it, it says right here, ladies and gentlemen, um, can you tell me how do you say in English, regar las plantas? To water the plants. To water the plants, exactly. And you know the word water, it's you know, referred to the liquid that we drink, all right? So depending on the context, it's how you guys are going to use the words, right? Like I'm going to water the plants, which means I'm going to add water to my plants, or I would like to drink some water, which is talking about the liquid, right? So, well, if you don't have more questions, let's just continue with the next activity here, which is the following. So take a look at this one and it says, hey, everybody, I need a volunteer. Who can help me to read the instruction number four? What's the instruction number four here? Volunteer, please. Yeah, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daniel, right? Which of the following are the most common uses with survive you have experienced in a restaurant? Do you should establish a produce Procedure, procedure procedure could help reduce those use why okay thank you very much for helping me my friend let me help you now with the pronunciation of two words remember i told you how do you pronounce this word service service exactly right that's service 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 all right and also we have two more words that we need to verify here with the pronunciation all right so this one it's procedures everybody please repeat procedures procedure all right mm. and the last one issues 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now, what are you going to do with this next activity? So you guys are going to go back to the uh, breakup rooms, and this is like a top five, you know, this is a top five of the things that, you know, like the most common issues with the service you can experience in the restaurant. Los cinco que, las, las cinco uh, sentences that you can see there, the cinco situations that you can see there, all right, some cosas malas. There are bad things. All right, you need to tell me, in your opinion, you're going to organize it from number one to number five. Number five sería como la menos, la, la menos mala, if you want to say it like that. All right, so, and then the number one will be like the worst. All right, so lo peor que te puede pasar when you go to a restaurant, all right? So something similar to like the top five of things that can happen to you on a restaurant or at the restaurant in this case. All right, so did you understand what you have to do? Yes? So you're going to like add the numbers here, like one, two, three, four, et cetera, right? Depending on, on what your opinion is about this top five. All right, so once again, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you can actually continue working here. All right. Join the rooms again. The request has been sent. And right now, I'm going to share to the WhatsApp group here this activity so you can see it.
Okay, sit on this one. Okay, okay. Mr. Pardo, I saw you already um, joined the class. Would you participate in one of the rooms? Teacher, acabo de llegar a mi casa, dame unos cinco minuticos y ya participo. Okay, cool. My God, the Spanish. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> and between the number one and number five, the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to table. Okay. For me, sería the waiter the waiter is not polite that's the number five like the less the less important or the most important yes. what about the rest reina evelyn the um, the waiter is not polite is more important and the the number three The waiter gets you food you did not ask for. The waiter, what? Gets your food you did not ask for. <gasps> yes, imagine because you will be very hungry. And then they they go with a different um, order. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. For me, is a dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to table. Okay. Different. Gets to number four. Okay, girls, I will go to a different room. If you have questions, you can call me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, what is the number one? Um, 
Excellent. What's going to be your number one? Number five, let's see. The dish you want to order is unavailable, but it appears in the list menu. Mm, yeah. Number four, the food takes too long to be served after ordering. To me, that should be like the number two, at least to me, to me, in my opinion, right? Um, number three, the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. Uh, it happens. To me, that will be number four. All right, number three, number, four, number two, the waiter's not polite. Yeah, that's number one. Or oh, number two, yeah. And then the waiter gets your food to leave now. Absolutely. Imagine you are very hungry and then you're expecting to eat the, di the, the, the dish you order, right? And then the waiter arrives with something different. Mm -mm. I will be extremely angry, right? So yes, correct. Very good job. That was super fast for you guys. Questions about vocabulary or anything else? No questions, teacher. No questions. All right. Awesome. So very good. So we are going to go back to the main session right now so we can share our answers, all right? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So we just we're just waiting for the rest of them. So let's see. Let me share the screen here. Okay, very good. Okay, okay. Waiting for everybody else to join the class. Just one second. Okay, everybody's now available. So let's see. Tell me, my friends, in this one right here, uh, for you, which one will be number five? Number five, which is like the less important, right? So in your opinion, what will be number five? I want to hear you. Hello, hello? Hello? Number one. No, no, number five. Remember que el number one es como like el top, la, lo, lo peor que puede pasar, right? So, uh, but okay. it's como like the less important. Uh -huh. So, be number five. For you, everybody. Uh -huh. Hello, everybody. Good evening. The food takes too long to be served after ordering it okay so sonia says that for her this is going to be number five all right remember there is no correct or incorrect this is based on your opinion right would you share the same opinion or would you have a different one i have a different one. which one would you take as the less important Estelle? Uh, for me the less important is the dish wine you want to order is not available, but it appears listen in the menu. Okay, if very good. If so, no appear, I, I can decide to order another thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. I agree with you right here. So we can have that one as well right there. Thank you. So the dish you want to order is not available. Okay. Yeah, that could be a good one. All right. What about number four? Number four? What do we have as a number four, people? Digamos que tomaremos este como number five, all right? Number five, okay. What's going to be number four? Mm -hmm. For the you? The way to food you did not ask for. Oh, a different one, a different one, a different one. 
All right, so this one is like number four. But to, to me, to me, that would be like number two or number one, but I don't know, you tell me, all right? So the waiter gets you food you didn't ask for. Well, if it is more delicious, no problem, but all right, so good. So let's see, let's see. Uh, what about number three? The waiter is not polite. Oh, no, to me, that would be number one, all right, to me. But anyway, I'm going to write what you tell me, guys. All right, so yes, because when the waiter is not polite, I feel uncomfortable, right? So what else? What else? What else? What about number two? We have only two options. Uh -huh. The Different from the actual dish the writer brings to the table. Okay, that's what you actually said. That's fine. And this is for you, the number one. The number one for you, according to what you have been telling me, it's that the food takes too long to be served after ordering. Yes, absolutely. Because you don't like to wait a lot, right? Do you have a different number one, people? You can share it. Remember, there's no correct or incorrect answer. It's based on your opinion, right? So what would be your, your different number one? Your number uh, one is different. Teacher, in my opinion, uh, the number one is the wire is no polite. Yeah, that would be my number one, too. I agree with you. Thank you. Anybody else with a different number one? The waiter gets you food you didn't not ask for. Yeah, that could be also my number one. That could be my number one too. Okay, yeah, because you're so hungry and then the person arrives with something different. That That's a problem actually, right? Uh, okay, do you have a different number one? Yes or no? Okay, very good, no problem, right? So what are we going to do right now, so? Everybody, please pay attention. We are going to be working in the last activity for tonight. And what is going to be that activity? Super simple. We are going to have a role play. Role play, role play, role play. You know you know what is a role play, right? Yes? Okay, excellent. So what are you going to do? You guys are going to work on creating a dialogue you know, following those steps, right? For example, one of you is going to be the waiter and the other one is going to be the customers. So we can say like, for example, like, hi, good evening, welcome to Pollo Campero. My name is Furanito. Um, and then you start using those phrases like, ha, ah, how do you say? La mesa para cuantas personas, all right? So would you prefer una butaca or una mesa de centro? So those type of things is what you're going to order right now with the vocabulary. ¿Qué te gustaría ordenar? So how do you say that in English, right? Preferirías, preferirías una ensalada o un plato fuerte, all right? ¿Quieren algún starter o appetizer? All right, so ¿Quieren un postre al final? You want some coffee with postre, right? Eh, et cetera, right? So all those things, right? So just basically pretend that you receive a customer so you go to a restaurant. Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Great. Excellent. So coming back to the breakout rooms again so you can continue working on that. All right. So let's see. There you have it, everybody. Please join the breakout rooms so you can continue with the role play activity there. Okay, so let's see who has enjoyed this one. Evelyn, Mr. Pardo, I'm going to send you to our room right now, okay? Okay. Okay. 
Mr. Flores, are you going to be in any room? Evelyn? If not, you can work together. I will send it together to room number four so you can actually work there. Hello, teacher. Hello, how can I help you? Podría explicarnos nuevamente, teacher. Parece que es ser que no le comprendimos al cien. Sure, no problem. You're going to have a role play right now. So, which means como like um, una pequeña dramatización, right? Poniendo en práctica lo que hemos aprendido. Uno de ustedes es el mesero, the waiter, and the other one is the customer. Right. Siguiendo los pasos que hemos visto ahora, ¿cuál sería cómo recibimos al cliente? ¿Qué sigue después? ¿Cómo le preguntamos qué quiero? Ah, ah, Excelente. Right? Okay, perfect. Perfect teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Henry. Eduardo was working with you, right? No, only only Henry Giovanni and I and me. Okay. Well, I'll present here. All right, continue, please. Okay, teacher. Okay, Henry. Okay. Henry, comprens. Compre Did you yeah. understand? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Henry, uh, I am a waiter and your customer. Okay. Uh, for example, good morning, sir. Hello, hello. Hello, oh, teacher. Um, let me see if I can go. All right. Hello. Hello, teacher. One second. I'm having audio issues here. All right. Now it's fixed. All right. Sorry, I can hear you now. Tell me. Do you need help? We need to create a conversation of, uh, about a role play teacher between a waiter and a, and a guest. Correct. Oh, okay. You, we right. just want to make sure of this. Sure, no problem. No problem. Okay. What routine you. number one? <laughs> With uh, you. Just kidding, just kidding. Continue. Oh, okay. Maybe not.
I will go to a different room right now, okay? If you have questions, let me know. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, good night. My name is Nuria and, I, and it will be a pleasure to ask you which fried chicken era. Fried chicken. I see, <laughs> fried chicken. Correct, pollo frito. Okay. Okay, I want a plate of fried rice chicken and plate with and how do you say camarones? Camarones? Shrimps. Uh -huh. Shrimps. 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 Mm -hmm. right. I want a plate of fried chicken and a plate with sheep shrimp. Mm -hmm. And two sodas for drink. Okay. Okay. Um, your order is a uh, fried chicken and shrimps and two two sodas. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a moment, uh, I serve your order. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Teacher, entonces es servir la orden y hasta cobrarla. Ajá. Así. Yes. Ok. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you will have volunteers here. Is your order complete? You can say, is your order okay? Uh, is your order okay? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say nuevamente? Your order okay? Okay, so yeah, are you working on the menu? Okay. Are you uh, uh, agree? A dessert in your order? Be, do you agree? Do you, do you agree? agree? Mm -hmm. do, do you agree? Correct. Mm. Do you agree? Dessert and coffee. Or coffee and dessert. Could be like that way. Dessert. And coffee. Hello? Yeah. Reina? Oh, Reina. Reina. <laughs> 
Repeat, please. Waiter, the bill, please. The bill. She's asking for the bill. The bill. Okay. We are going to go back to the main session so we can continue here, okay? Okay. All right. So let's see. Surprise, volunteers. Evelyn, Eduardo. Um, You're um, welcome, teacher. <laughs> so let's see. Okay. Y ahora para pedir la orden. Can I order some? Eh, les dejo el menú. Here you have the menu. Tell me, Daniel. Volunteer. Excellent. Yes, sir. Awesome, my friend. So, everybody, please let's give an applause to Daniel. And tell me, who are you going to be working with? Ricardo. Okay. I uh, just want to see you and hear you right now. Please go ahead. Okay. okay. Hello. Welcome to the best restaurant, Bruce Meat. Take your seat right away. I take your order. You want to see the menu? Yes. Uh, I would like it. Uh, one pound of the best meat. Okay, what is specialty? Beef or pork? I prefer beef and I drink, I want a beer. <laughs> okay, and something else that can you help you? No, in this moment, I arrive my family. When I arrive, I need to come back again. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you finish? Yes, yes teacher. Awesome. Thank you very much. Right. So that was actually super nice. I really liked it. So that was good. So you guys uh, finished uh, to the part like about uh, taking the order, but that was fine. Excellent. So I like it. Good creativity, by the way. So that was super, super nice. Congratulations. Good job. So let's see who else. One more. Hello. One more, please. Mm hmm. We sure, me and Jill. Who said we? I couldn't see that. Oh, Mr. Jill. Luna, right? Yes, right. All right, excellent. Who are you going to be working with? With Jill? With Jill, yes, right. All right, excellent. So please, let's camera, action. <laughs> Welcome to Antigos. Here are your menu. Today's special is grilled salmon. I'll be back to take your order in a minute. Are you ready to order? I like the seafood spaghetti. And you? I have a hamburger and fries. Would you like anything to drink? I have a cup, please. And for you? Just water, please. Okay, so so the okay, so the one seafood spaghetti, one hamburger and fry, one coke, and one water. It'll take your menu. Here is your food. Enjoy your meal. How was everything? Delicious, thanks. Would you like anything for dessert? Dessert? No, <laughs> no, just the bill, please. That's it. All right. Very good. Awesome. So good job. Good job. Right. Did you like it? So that was actually super nice. Right. Did you good? I just have one observation, which I consider it's important that you know the difference between those at uh, the pronunciation of those words. You were talking about Coca-Cola, right? Oh, uh, Coke. yes. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> now let me tell you what happens right here. All right. So, uh, 
there is a word that is similar in the pronunciation, uh, but it's not a correct word. It's kind of offensive, you know? It, and it might be confusing if you don't pronounce it correctly, right? So remember, when you're talking about the beverage, the one you want to drink, you say Coke, like O, right? Oh, Coke, oh. repeat it. Oh. Coke. I would like to order a Coke. Oh. All right, exactly. Because if you say it in the other way, which I'm not going to pronounce it, all right, you're talking about another word. All right. Are we clear in that one? I, uh, yeah, yes, I, I understand. Okay, excellent. So, well, if you actually want to know what is that word or have more questions about that, you can perfectly text me on the group so I can be more than happy to, to clarify the difference between those two words over there, all right? Thank you, teacher. Great, excellent. So thank you and thank you everybody else for joining the class, right? It's time for you to go and rest, all right? So you can get more energy to, you know, complete your day tomorrow and joining the class, all right? So don't forget to join the class. Don't forget to do your homework and remember to practice. Remember the videos are available on YouTube so you can watch them again if you didn't understand anything so you can watch the video again or ask me. Remember, I'm here to help you, right? Have a wonderful night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teachers. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night.